<laughs> how, how was your trip in? Oh, it's yeah, what? To here on the aeroplane. Yes, marvelous. <laughs> it's wonderful. You can see out and everything. <laughs> Clouds, and they bring you cups of tea. <laughs> no, oh, I... the best thing about it is your phone's not on, so people aren't ringing you, going, "Could you just? Can I just?" Actually, that was me. <laughs> now I'm gonna ask you. The Weasleys are definitely fan favorites, the family, for sure. Now, what was it like playing the patriarch of the family? Did you find yourself giving father advice on and off the screen? Um, well, he wasn't, well. <laughs> uh, when we were doing Goblet of Fire, everybody was in, you were all really young, and it was, it was a laugh. So mostly it was like, shut up. <laughs> Ginny, uh, Bonnie just used to bounce around like that. And, and uh, yeah. And there was a lot of sniggering, you know. <laughs> so uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I As I said, until they all the adolescence, when it was just like, okay. James and Oliver, did, did you feel like you guys got any good advice off screen? Yeah. <laughs> we, we did actually, on the, uh, on the last film, Mark came in, hey, I found a great curry house down the road. So we, 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 we went out for a curry, didn't we? And the, uh, it, was, it was one of these, like, outside of filming, um, but hanging out, because we were all in the, in the, that, the same That time. was when the, we were in this, we went, we went for a pint when they were old enough, and we went for a pint and a curry. <laughs> Just to clarify. No, they were. It was a sort of rite of passage, you know. And we were in this, um, and this, this girl said, oh, can, um, can I get a photo? And so the, the boys and the twins with, with the, with, um, groups in between them. And then they said, oh, yeah, and your dad. <laughs> oh, thanks. I bet they were very happy to have you in that photo. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> now, we've got a Twitter question for you, Mark. Uh, you are pretty much the dad that anybody would love to have. Are you like Mr. Weasley in real life? Uh, tragically, yes. <laughs> in what way? Um, I'd sort of tend towards enthusiasm as the first choice option. That's my default option. Brilliant! Uh, and um, sort of nosy, really. I mean, what is the function of a rubber duck? Well, amusement, clearly. Employment for rubber duck makers. Everybody needs a job. Uh, you, you know, uh, yellow paint testing. I don't know. All of those things are great. Flotation the whole technology. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shut up now, Austin. Now, if you were one of the students, which character would you have liked to play? That's a very difficult question. Um, I I wouldn't answer that really because I think of all of all the students as a sort of as a uncle, patriarchal figure. I can see fantastic things in all of them, you know. And, and I used to love watching them do stuff. At one point when, um, when Neville walks out from, the, from the, the lines in the last battle, and, <laughs> and Seamus goes, stand down, Neville! <laughs> that was just engraved on my memory. I love that. And, and my daughter does a great impersonation of, of Luna going, there are Nargos, Harry. <laughs> and so it's all a, a great big rich mixture of, of great amusing young people's stuff. <laughs> all right, now do you have any favorite magical artifacts? <laughs> any f magical artifacts? Um, yeah, I do. The clock. 
uh, which I it just is a was just a whole image for me of the quality and care and and um, uh, excitement of being on a set like that where the clock had got hands that were actually the, the finger pieces from scissors they went round with a picture of each of the family of them and uh, you knew where they were and the great one was in mortal peril <laughs> oh quick <laughs> what's the oh mortal peril <laughs> Alright, last question. <laughs> now, your character it should have been a course between me and Julie, actually, like. <laughs> Peppy, rock and peril! We're just gonna do that throughout the night randomly now. Like, I just want you to pop up and say that. Throughout the entire night. Doesn't matter what's happening. Rock and peril! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> now, we know your character worked in the Ministry of Magic. What would your wizard job be? Like, if you could get a wizarding job, what it, would it be? Well, he does work. Your, what yours, you though. If not, it, not your character, if it, yours. If, if I didn't, if he didn't. Hang on a minute, you confuse me now. <laughs> Fatally, I suspect. Austin, you, sorry, you're going to have to spell that out. I'm just here to confuse you, that's yeah, what I'm here you. for. <laughs> Are you saying, if I wasn't in the Ministry of Magic, what would I do? No, your character oh, right. worked in the Ministry of Magic, but you, if you, oh, Mark, see, worked in there, what would your wizarding job be? Oh, you're not interested in me, are you? <laughs> Silly old. <laughs> I think probably I'd like to be a oh no we've got owls haven't we I was going to say a postman <laughs> just bimbling around you know like hey you go there you go go home now have a cup of tea <laughs>